old school muscle cars, eh? So Blacktown up in Sydney, and I made the decision that I keep talking about this show, I need to get up and have a look. So I stayed overnight up in Blacktown so I could be up early, and this is like 6.30 in the morning for a seven o'clock start, and the cars are rolling in. And it's a beautiful day. Uh, overcast which is sort of nice with the camera you don't get all that sort of reflection and stuff going on and what surprised me was the fact that these guys were all set up and organized at 6 30 in the morning so marquees up coffee vans are already on site and running and just a continual flow of cars and there's about 20 minutes of this and I think it's worthwhile because you can see and hear the cars uh, in motion and then at the end of it I've got to walk around with um, a lot of the cars and also a bit of the atmosphere and Louise has just found some nice music to put over that. So I'll run through some of these. Check out that big van. So this was a charity deal so it's like 10 bucks to to be part of it and then it's another ten dollars if you wish to get some raffle tickets to go in the draw which all goes towards the charity so just watching the cars come through most people seem to be handed over a 20 and it's good to see these guys giving back to the community So I've been watching um, some of this on some of the other social media there, and there's obviously a few cars here that are part of the crew that get involved to make this happen. Um, but there's also a lot of different cars arriving. And one of the very few that are on a tilt tray, so that car's been at most of their shows. So it was a very cruisy atmosphere. Uh, a couple of guys inside lining all the cars up and they did an incredible job of getting them all evenly spaced and nosed in and, and looking nice and tidy, which makes a big difference when you go through the film or if you're walking around having a look. Being in Western Sydney, there's a lot of tough cars there. This venue is like a parklands and it's out behind um, the Australian Zoo just over from Eastern Creek Raceway. Um, very easy to get into, um, plenty of room to line up and you'll see that um, this just is a continual flow of cars coming in and like I said this is from about 6.30 through to a bit after 7.00. Little Toronto, I think that had a four sale sign on it, that one, and they set it up. I've seen that, that C10 or whatever it is a couple of times, they're massive wheels on that car, incredible.
unusual two-tone on this Mustang. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a Mustang painted in a two-tone that way, just down the sides, very unusual. As you can tell, it's um, public road in here and um, everyone was very well behaved, but there was also a couple of signs out telling you that if you misbehave, there'd be someone watching that's going to um, catch up with you later. see so many of these cars out being used I mean it's really changed I think our sport what we do with these um, cars and coffee opportunity on a Saturday or a Sunday to get your car out and get back home by you know, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning spend a bit, a bit of time the rest of the time either in the workshop or with the family not then stuck in the show for all day until three or four in the afternoon diverse than that could you're a late model Commodore and then a really nice F100 and then a blown Cortina and then a GT behind that and a Commodore it's a nice little runner car I don't know if this was a club or not but Just wandering down the left there doing it, something on my phone while the camera's sitting on the tripod. Super nice blue bay there and then followed up by a Falcon too. A lot of comments about that blue Falcon, beautiful car. And there wasn't too many panel vans there, but this um, Green XY is a super nice car. So when I do these shows, it's pretty much go, go, go. So this one was like 6.30 through to 9.30 non-stop either on my phone or on the, on the good camera and then when I come back Louise will chop it all up and make it into something that we can then narrate and put some music over and get out to you as soon as we can noise is coming from so another blown car just coming in there. Right, right. 
I don't know if you want to cut one off some of those. Definitely a popular car, these um, blue minis. I mean, this was about the fifth or the sixth one I think coming in. Well, a bit of peace and quiet now. So these guys run um, quite a lot of these events and I see they're, they're teaming up with um, another charity next month I believe it is um, and that's all about men's health and suicide so jump on their page it's old school muscle car cruisers and um, check out their next one. to be in this sort of position where you can just watch the cars come in and see how they sit on the road and hear the, the note, check out the sort of people that are driving the different styles of cars. It's really a different look than actually walking around a car show just looking at um, static cars. Tuffy's there, that white ute. 
and um, the Blue Falcon there, both from um, engines from Tricky. And that Blue Falcon there ran a nine on one of our earlier videos up at when we were up there on the, the Wednesday night. You can see those sort of cars just driving in. And then the whole family there and the young bloke on his L's driving the Impala is pretty cool. Panel van, who'd like to see me try and get to one of these panel van events coming up shortly? Got a bit of a yearning to do that, but they always seem to be a long way away, and it's a bit like trying to get up to this show. It's, um, it's not enough weekends to be able to do all these things. Left the, um, the event. I left about 9:30 because I was going over to Eastern Creek to take in the Shannon's classic display. And um, there's a few people out there with the cameras and all going to record all the cars leaving, similar to what I'm doing here, but with them driving out to drive. So it's a free event if you get an opportunity and you want to be up early and have a coffee and check out the cars and have a chat to the owners. Definitely a good event to do that at. So the latest car out of Hoon Customs, his partner's car, they've got a couple now, they've got a blue one and a pink one. <coughs> some products now for these um, late model Mustangs, haven't they? The amount of stuff available. So don't forget about Lovells. Lovells is our, one of our major supporters and our biggest supporter when we go out to these shows. If you need suspension for your Forby or for your street machine, make sure you go and check them out because without their support I wouldn't be able to travel all over the country and do all of this filming to bring you our sport we love so much. an unusual colour for an FG that's um, it's almost like blueprint, it might be an early one. Well no, it's got the stripes of 335 so I'm not sure. Quite a few nice Toranas there. Um, don't see a lot of them around all the time, but um, nice to see a few out. So the line's um, gone away now, and they're falling in a bit quicker. It's about quarter past seven now. It won't be long and we'll be going just to some music and the reason we do that is they have a, a good atmosphere at this event with their own music and all cranking and we can't have that so 
really can't get much of the sound of the cars and all. So when um, when we go to that, there will just be a music bed and you'll be able to take in the atmosphere and some of the other cars. And I'll do a close-up on this Porsche that's coming up behind this XW. Unbelievable amount of modifications on that Porsche. I don't know whether it's factory or someone's done a lot of work, but it's um, quite incredible. another very unusual car that you'll see some footage of as well. I don't know that I've ever seen a car built like this one before and it's got um, obviously a tray back and then they've made all the rear. It's a pretty solid looking thing. And another Tough X E Falcon big set of treads under it. So enjoy the rest of the show and um, it was good to get up there and see some of the cars from Western Sydney. I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of it.
saying words in my head Filling my mind with these images And it's the way that you look at me Makes me feel 